I want to turn our attention now to the struggling economy, which of course will continue to be a focus of every campaign. The Federal Reserve announced a new $400 billion plan on Wednesday to try to turn things around. But the markets were not impressed yesterday. The Dow Jones Industrials lost 283 points, about 2.5%. Here to tell us what the Fed's up to is CBS Senior, excuse me, a CBS News Senior Business Correspondent, Anthony Mason. Anthony, good to see you here this morning. Hey, Chris. So the Fed has been very active in trying to give a little robust boost to this economy. It hasn't worked in the past by right. buying off some of the trillions of dollars of government debt. What is this new plan, and what's the, the latest here? It's called Operation Twist, and by the name, by the way, the name actually does come from the old Chubby Checker song, because the last time the Fed tried this was back in the early 60s. What they're trying to do with this move is to drive down interest rates. They want to make money cheaper. They want to make businesses borrow more, spend more, and ultimately, hopefully, hire more. Because as the Fed said yesterday in its statement, they now see significant downside risk to this economy. That's what spooked the markets. Typically, economists are saying maybe a 25% chance of another recession, although I've talked to some who have put it at 50-50. Wow, and one economist I read this morning actually called this new plan a distraction. Uh, you mentioned this, this is to try to bring interest rates lower mm -hmm. and also to try to get businesses to perhaps borrow more. Two parts to this. One, how much lower can rates go? And two, yeah. is it really helping to encourage people to incur more debt? Well, I mean, the, the fact is people can't get the loans anyway. Mortgage rates are already at 60-year lows. I mean, the 30-year fixed is just above 4%. The Fed's move will probably drop it below 40%, but it's very difficult to get one of those loans because lending standards have been tightened so much. And even though prices have come down, who's going to buy a house when they're worried about losing their job? We talk about confidence, uh, consumer confidence, week in and week mm -hmm. out. Any sign that it's even remotely coming back? No, in fact, the latest numbers show it eroding. If you look at Bankrate.com survey, which came out this week, they show that 40% that of Americans cut back on their spending over the last two months. And this was across all income levels. We talked to a custom tailor in Chicago this week who said he had a doctor come in and said, you know, I'd really like to buy a suit from you. With all this uncertainty, I'm just not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Fact is, since this summer, debt ceiling debate, all the chaos and concern, the fear came back. Businesses stopped hiring, people stopped spending. On the other issues, no one can figure out the exact answer to turning that confidence around. Exactly. Anthony, thanks. Nice to have you here this morning.